Hello guys, Dudwain slash Learn Swain here, and I'm going to demonstrate to you some more finished game engine features. So, um, under games, I have two programs now. Life.los, which is Game of Life, Conway's like Game of Life, and Maze.los. So, um, I'm first going to show you the slightly more boring one. Oop. It's hard to tap with this phone in the way. Let's see where you're actually tapping. Maze. There. So you're this little guy, and you don't see any other part of the maze other than the part you've explored. What is up with the planes today? <laughs> so, if you tap somewhere, the area you're at becomes visible. You tap that little square to make it visible. And, so fourth, I have to make a left turn. I have to go down here. Turn right. Oh, there's a fork. And then you go this way. And basically, as you explore the maze, Parts of it become visible. Make the corners visible, you have to tap them. So you just go around. You find out that this map is the original map from the original demonstration. So that's about it for that. Now let's show you something more interesting. Um, game. Uh, Conway's Game of Life. So here's this little sample generation. Whenever you start the program, you will start with this. There's also a random map generator, which is basically just a random number generator for each little pixel. So I click the next button and it goes to the next generation. So if you know Game of Life, or Conway's Game of Life, you will see that, oh, well that failed. Uh, yeah, now I remember. There's a slight bug. The game engine does not clear. So when you start another program, the game engine, the big array that stores the game engine does not get cleared. So, yeah, I'm going to fix that. But anyways, if you push next, that happens. Push next again. This happens. Then next again, now the patterns start to get interesting. Get a little square, and this, then this, and then this, and this cool thing, and then it turns into this. If you push next again, it turns into that, push it again, that, that, and that. If you push the new button, it clears everything and generates this random looking thing. Here. Now you won't see it that well on my phone for some reason. Also, there seems to be this graphic glitch with rendering. It's only happened now. Probably because I'm powering it by battery or something. I don't know. This battery is almost flat. SD access isn't very good. So it might randomly crash as well. But. Ugh. Damn it. Especially the touchscreen becomes unstable on battery. So, auto will automatically generate this stuff, it will automatically push next for you. Um, it waits every half second to render. And then you get this thing going. Just reboot. So, let's show you the random life generator thingy, then a simulation of that. Yeah. Stop failing on me, touchscreen. Life new. Wait for that to load. The bigger the thing is, the longer it takes to load. Mostly because of how slow SD card access is. This will be fixed in a later version. So now it's automatically computing life. And eventually we get to a stable form. There we go. Stable form. This little circle thing and this little block. If I unplug and start again. This closing and opening doesn't work very well. 
So that's about it. It's pretty cool though. Um, I've got the source code in the description for both programs that I'm showing here. Um, it actually works kind of well without using two arrays. It saves memory. This only uses one array. And what it actually does is it scrolls through the array like from top to bottom for each line. And well, that's how it. And then it kind of writes the results to a file, which is in the format of the levels that the game engine uses. So it, it's kind of hard to explain how it works, but it does. So let's just watch this. It's kind of much more fun if it's live and it doesn't flicker when it's rendering something. But it should be 100% accurate life simulation, with the slight exception of the walls at the top and the bottom because of the limited area. I can make this area twice as big if I wanted to, but it would take a bit longer to simulate. So for the purposes of this video, I made it this size. It seems to be stabilizing now. Oh. There we go. The only little bit of life that's left. And it's only living because of this wall, the edge of the screen. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. And um, stuff. I'll try and make this larger, but there's a lot of homework at my new school, so I hope I'll, stif I'll still have enough time to work on LOS and whatnot. But the game engine's working, or most of the game engine. Next I'm going to try, I uh, repeat, try, make a random maze generator for that maze game I showed. And maybe make the grid a bit bigger, so, you know, Game of Life is a lot more interesting when the grid is bigger or huge. And mazes are harder if the grid is larger as well. So I'll just make that bigger. I'm not sure if I'll get the maze generator worker working because I've already tried it and it didn't work the first time I tried to make it, so I don't know. But I'm hoping it works. And it would be really cool because that would make the maze game so much more fun. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, rate, whatnot, and bye.